Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay on this morning. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video in the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those, those things, okay? If you would like to support the channel, you could definitely hit up the Cash App, okay? I wanted to do a quick video about rapper T.I. gets into a physical altercation with his son, King, because of disrespect, okay? Now, for the last couple of years, we've seen things in the media about King, and we've seen um, how his parents immediately come to um, his defense, I guess, as parents should do, you know, especially in public, you know. Um, but the thing about it is I don't know if King is being reprimanded in private, right? Um, there is no way I would ever say that a parent should not defend their children in public because I know I'm going to ride with mine, okay? But I'm going to handle them if they wrong behind the scenes, right? Um and it seems like that um, there has been like a lot of um, King seems to have some emotional situations going on. I don't I don't know what it is behind that. They tells me he's a rapper. OK. And that um, he raps about, um, you know, coming from uh, getting it from coming from the trenches now. I don't know. I guess there has to be a psychological situation because I watched uh, T.I. and Tiny's um, show i even watched when it was toy and tiny i watched their their reality show i'm talking about ti and tiny until i couldn't stomach ti anymore um and and it always looked like they was living in beautiful houses and neighborhoods to me so you know i i can't understand what what king is talking about but um i want to show the video you know um hey i i'm totally against um, kids getting angry and feeling like they need to embarrass their parents, especially if there's no physical abuse, sexual abuse going on, or anything like that. Uh, just entitlement and tantrums, okay? Let's watch it. You ever woke up with a roach on your face? No, that's not the go. All right, then. Yeah, man, go. Or in your ear. I don't know what you're talking about. I got s in the neighborhood with me that broke up with a roach in your ear. Y'all want to go to the to make him look better, he said he know not true. Silver spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. I have a silver spoon. I used to have to come to my grandma's house because I'm getting in the you fight. You cried like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You used to hold your breath. Every day. Every day. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. No, I'm going to tell you the reason why you want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because... He can suck and pacify over there. He was 12 years old. He was sucking and pacify since he was 12 years old. He can do that in the house. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a pacify, but they ain't going to tell you everything. They're trying to hide it. He capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Can't nobody ever pull my car ever in life. I stand on business. You, you got drop me car. somewhere, I stand on business. You, you drop me in your hood, man. I stand on business. I don't feel like you stand on business. Yeah. Said, I've like been, been stood on business. I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. I, I, I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere. Like, I ain't, you ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. You were, you were behind the mansion. You right. No. I got too much to drink. I'm drunk too much. Drunk too much. Let's go. Now, get mad because we say the south ain't the suburbs. Then he want to talk about some other. Like this being sick. This being sick. No, I'm being real. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping. I know you. 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 I know you.
I know you do. I know you do. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even let somebody play with me like that? Why you let somebody play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. But you can't do nothing with me. Ain't shit you can do with me. King, have you, have you ever? Okay. So. You know, uh, his daddy, he embarrassed his daddy so bad he had to go ahead and put him in the headlock and stuff, okay? And I'm going to just have to go ahead and say this, even though I ain't a big fan of T.I., I used to be a real big fan of T.I., and I, you know, I know people talk about with us a marriage, but it's just something about how, you know, but if Chaney like it, I love it. He treated his wife like she was a second-class citizen, um, you know, um, I, I watched through all of that. And I think that's one of the reasons why the show went off of the air. Uh, those kids had the opportunity to witness it firsthand. Uh, but I, you know, it appears on camera that he did love his kids, that, um, he, they did take care of his kids. King did want to be over at his grandmama's house all the time. And his grandmama seemed to have adored him. But it's like King is trying to prove a point. I guess, you know, people are taking that too seriously now. You know, um, if if I don't, you know, um, I want it to seem like I came up out the trenches. I wasn't behind the gates of the mansion. I got in trouble. You know, like that's being glorified. Yeah, I stood on business because he wants people to believe whatever it is that's in his rap to the fact or to the point that he is disrespecting his own parents. Hey, I, listen, I think T.I. and Taney, um, I think that they 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 handled it well because I promise you it would have been a fight up in there. It was. I mean, I, I think his dad was, you know, getting ready to handle him some more. Uh, they said his dad to put him in a headlock. But, you know, me personally, and people do it all the time, but I don't cuss in front of my, my parents. Uh, never have. I don't cuss in front of my aunts. I don't cuss in front of adults that are like motherly auntie figures to me. I, I just don't do that. You know what I mean? Um, and to be sitting up cussing at your parents, to cuss in front of them to me is disrespectful. But then to be cussing at them is something on a whole nother level. That's the His parents did all they could to try and play. And then he kind of like act like he want to try and expose them. You capping, you capping. King, nobody believes you. Everybody saw your life was displayed all over the national TV scene. I mean, even though you was at your grandmama's house, sometimes that played out. I remember that scene. You still had a silver spoon in your mouth. You ain't never had to go hungry. You had everything because your folks had the money to buy you everything. And now he's wanting to, I guess, sell records and try and put out uh, make people think that, you know, he didn't. I mean, hell, it ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a lot of people that would love to be in King's position, but I don't know what has gone on with King. It seems like to me that King has some type of behavioral problems. Uh, we've seen this coming for a while now. Like I said, T.I. and Tiny tried to always, because, you know, I believe um at one point when king was getting into trouble and stuff ki was talking about why everybody always focusing on the negative stuff that king do um he is a straight a student uh because they focus on the stuff he do because he do some crazy stuff and now he has uh gristled up at his folks in public as if i will embarrass y'all you know what I mean? Basically, that's what he did. His folks has given him everything, and he's he's turned that sword now on them. The same sword he had on everybody else, he has turned that sword on him. I'm not saying the celebrities' children don't have a hard life because I understand, you know, how when people feel a certain way about the celebrity, some people don't have the decency not to go at the children, right? But um, there's still supposed to be a certain amount of respect. And it has been obvious for a while now that King has none. And now we see not even for his parents. 
Now I look at T.I.'s other children and I don't know them that are on the outside of the household. Now Deja seems to have had some issues because of she spoke about some stuff that she had gone through, but just uh, T.I.'s other boys, it seems like they're a little older than King that um, with, you know, from two, uh, the, the other women, uh, you know, one plays in a, a rock band or something like that. I forget what the other one does, but they seem to uh, at least have some type of respect in public. Um, a king uh, has some types of king needs some counseling and maybe they already got him into some counseling. But it's it's something that's going on when you feel like, OK, you need to um, go at your parents because you want to prove to the world okay that you about that life you stand on business okay and he's the most dangerous kind because everybody knows that he's he came from a money household that his parents had more money than the average joe blow because i don't really know if they rich because we see now how all of these celebrities fake about their lifestyle but it is obvious that they at least had some type of pool to be able to put them in a nice neighborhood a, a, a nice house um, he wants to uh, go at his parents. He wants for people to believe that, you know, um, he wasn't behind the gate. I was never at home. I wasn't behind the gate. I stand on business, okay? Because he's wanting, he feels like having respect on the outside of his household from people that don't give a damn about him is more important than respecting his parents, right? when there are still a whole lot of thugs, a whole lot of people that's in the street that's about that life, that regardless to what they do, they still respect their parents. So he really just lost a whole lot of brownie points regardless to how anybody feels about T.I. T.I. is still King's father. Tiny is still his mother, right? They still seem to have loved their son, right? Uh, we already know that he grew up in the mansion. He didn't. You didn't live with your grandmama uh, every day, King. So you trying to? That's a mute point. Trying to prove something um, to people when we already saw you grow up on the scene. Talking about well, uh, you ain't gonna tell these people the truth. Uh, I'm I'm happy that uh, T.I.D. put him in 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 the um, headlock because regardless, that's still his father right that's still his father but see that's what happens when you continuously um um try and uphold kids in their wrongness like i said hey i'm standing i'm gonna rock with mine ain't nobody gonna disrespect my children to me i'm gonna rock with my kids in public okay um but if they wrong i'm gonna deal with their asses in private okay I'm going to deal with him in private. That's how I am. But it seems like to me, there ain't, they ain't dealing with King in private. That's the reason why he can come in public and disrespect his folks, right? But I found this story really interesting. I, You know, I just, I'm starting to see, like, I think we're all starting to see as it relates to the entertainment industry that people have loved so much, right? Like, um, people have put celebrities and their children and stuff on such pedestals. But what ha what is happening is they've looked at them as God. And so what is happening is God is allowing a lot of stuff to be exposed, right? But the thing about it is, I think what's so unfortunate is that, you know, people look at folks like King because there is no guidance in a lot of households They'll feel like that that's cool. Yeah, he got his MF and mama and daddy straight. I don't care if it's my mama, my daddy, my grandmama. I'm standing on business. Ain't nobody going to disrespect me. You know, that's the type of mindset that a lot of these kids have. Yeah, that's the reason why you have to drag them. Okay? I'm sure everybody at some point has had to pull their kids' card to let them know, hey, I'm, I'm still your parent. My girls are super duper tall. They tall like models, okay? And I remember my baby girl always, I ain't never had no no attitude. She just got them. She's just a mild-mannered, reserved little chick, okay? I love her. I love her so much. And my oldest daughter, I love her so much, okay? I love them both equally. But my oldest daughter had a, a mouth. She had, she's, she's got a more of a, a big personality, okay? And um, when she starts to smell herself, when she was about 
uh 16 years old standing over me in the bathroom now she's always been a a, a good girl but you know they start getting hey they get in high school they start smelling themselves and i'll never forget she you know standing over me real tall in the bathroom because i said it's time to go you got it's time to go to school okay she wanted to do her hair some more oh oh she 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 bristled up at me she had a bad morning okay and she went to school and she read she read as i don't know what okay all right she went to she when she went to school she looked like she had been into a fight and guess what it never happened again okay and i'm sure it's been a lot of people that have had to show their kids ho 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 wait a minute i'm still your parent you want to try me let's do it you ain't gonna win right so i'm glad that at least t i let him know regardless to what your age is i'll treat you like you somebody out in the street right but you know hey i listen i i think king has some type of psychological problems i do i i, I just i do you know i i think um i, I don't know what king has seen because we saw how ti treated tiny we we heard about all of the rumors and stuff i'm sure it's a lot of stuff even though we saw a lot and it was bad enough um hey I, we never heard about them mistreating those kids but even when kids uh, you know see their, their their mother or whatever mistreated sometimes it cause psychological problems because looking at king king seems to have some psychological issues going on I'm looking at his hair he looks like he's not he's not clean you know what i mean um you know i i don't know but it, it's like he's feeling like he needs to prove himself to the public i stand on business he wants to be looked at as 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 something that he's more than likely that we all know that he's more than likely not and when i say that's a dangerous thing okay so now folks know that you live behind the gate because we saw the mansion we already know that your parents were entertainers right okay so he'll go out and do crazy stuff to consistently try and prove himself that's normally what happens that i stand on business i told you you'll mess around get yourself put in jail a life get himself tied up into something that he ain't even got to be in because of those psychological problems he feel like uh uh he needs to uh uh validate okay himself uh to make himself look a certain way to the to the public right or validate himself to the public or something like that you know but hey anyways i found that an interesting little story i i just don't see it getting any better with king because i think there's a deep rooted issue because it was almost like i think what pissed his daddy out the most is when he's talking about um they trying to hide it they trying to hide it y'all ain't gonna tell the truth i'm gonna expose it i'm gonna expose it you know what i mean you never talk to your parents like that especially your parents that has given you everything right um they need to put king in some counseling because he got some issues going on he definitely do um you know even though they've done everything under the sun maybe he feels like he can't be himself he has to suppress if if he's not you know he has to suppress some stuff because you know there have been some rumors about king um and his sexuality i don't i don't know okay but um you know hey listen I ain't mad at T.I. For, for grabbing him up because I'm uh, putting him in the headlock. And then he go, and then he talked to, y'all know me. Y'all know me. Y'all treat me like that. Y'all know me. Uh, son, what are you talking about? No, King, everybody knows that you grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's kids that wish to wear the, the name brand situations that, that haven't that's that's living in uh uh the projects every day when you lived in a you grew up in a mansion come on now but that's why i say uh the king needs some instead of upholding him they need to be trying to uphold it uh pick him up and take him and and drop him off uh at, at on somebody's couch okay and they probably need to be sitting on each side of him because i'm sure whatever psychological situations he, he's got going on 
Uh, mm -hmm. Rather they know it or not, known or unknown, um, there's some underlying issues, especially when you feel like you need to disrespect your folks because you want to uh, prove that you stand on business. Y'all, this world is out of control. It is. It's absolutely out of control. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to talk about that. I would like for you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via Cash App.